Husky Soft Stop caters for wooden and metal sliding doors weighing up to 100 kilograms. This superior product comes with the added benefit of a built-in dual soft close and open mechanism, which gently decelerates the door and pulls it into its final position. The result is an extremely sophisticated and quiet system, which boasts anti-slamming properties and enhanced product longevity. The dual soft stop is pre-assembled and concealed within the track to provide ease of installation and a minimalistic finish. The track can be soffit fixed or face fixed to suit your individual requirements. The kit. Dual soft close unit. Apron plates. Triggers. Strap bolts. Floor guide. Track. Face fixed brackets. Note, track and face fixed brackets, if required, must be specified in addition to the soft close kit. The tools. Screwdriver. Drill. Tape measure. Tri-square. Pencil. Allen key. Spirit level. 13 mm spanner. Prepare the door. Prepare the door by routing out a guide channel in the bottom of the door as well as any additional routing required for handles and flush pulls. Fitting the hangers. Take the top edge of the door and mark the center point with a pencil. From this center point, measure 231 millimeters outwards and mark with a pencil. Use the tri-square to draw a vertical line and mark the center point. Repeat this step for the other side. Place the middle of the apron plate over the center point and mark out the four fixing holes with a pencil. Create pilot holes if necessary before drilling the holes and fixing both apron plates to the top of the door. Fixing the track, face fixed method. Note, if installing this system in a soffit fixed application, the following steps will differ slightly. Measure the door height plus 83 millimeters from the floor up across three separate points. Mark with a pencil. Use the track and spirit level to draw a straight line through all three markings. This marks the fixing height for your face fixed brackets. Use a tri-square to make a mark on your fixing height line, which is in line with the edge of the opening. This marks where the center of the track should be. Make sure you do this on the side of the opening you want the door to slide across. Insert an end bracket into the top of the track and tighten into place with an Allen key. Lift the track into the correct position, making sure the center of the track is lined up with the mark you made earlier. Mark the fixing point for your first bracket with a pencil. Drill the first bracket into position. Insert the remaining face fixed brackets and evenly space across the track before drilling into position. You may require the help of someone else to hold the track at this point. Fitting the floor guide. Place the floor guide on the edge of the opening and screw into position, drilling pilot holes if necessary. Hanging the door. Tension the springs on the soft close unit by pulling the triggers into the holding bay. Attach the bolts to the strap bolts and fix to the hangers at either end of the soft close unit. Insert the soft close unit into the track. 
lift the door and hang into position. Fitting the triggers. Slide the door into the desired closed position over the opening. Measure 193 millimeters in from the closing side hanger and make a mark on the track. Next, move the door into the desired open position. Measure 193 millimeters in from the opening side hanger and make a mark on the track. These marks are your trigger positioning points. Centralize the door and insert both triggers into the track at either side. Move the triggers along into the required positions and secure into place with an Allen key. The marks you created should line up exactly with the protruding part of the trigger. Adjust the height of the door by adjusting the strap bolts to suit. Once happy, check that the door is level using a spirit level and secure the lock nuts into place with a spanner. Visit our website for details.